Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel G5 Biology and today we are going to focus on the second lecture of genetics. So it will be much easier to know all the theories and principles of genetics if we understand the most important keywords of genetics. Therefore in this lecture I am going to focus on 25 top keywords of genetics so that it will be easier for us to understand the principles and practices of genetics. So here we can see this is a structure of a gene. So to be a gene there is a promoter 5' UTR, start codon AUG, exon, intron, exon, intron, exon, intron. So there are multiple exon and introns in a gene and then it has a stop codon which is UGA, UAA and UAG and it has 3' UTR and poly ATL. And on the left, this is a double stranded DNA model and on the right we have the nucleus. So in the nucleus we can see the chromatin fiber, these are the chromatin fibers and these are the chromosomes and these are the chromosomes where genes are located. So it will be easier for us to understand if we understand the chromosomes in the nucleus and also the chromatin fiber. So let's move ahead and talk about the top 25 keywords in genetics that will help us, us understand the whole genetics lecture. So the first keyword is gene. So to understand what is a gene, so gene is a DNA sequence. Every DNA sequence is not a gene. Therefore, to be a gene, there should be a promoter sequence, there should be a exon intron sequences, 5' UTR region, 3' UTR region, it, it needs to have a start and stop codon. And it should be able to synthesize mRNA from the sequence, then only it becomes a gene. So out of the total DNA content of the nucleus, only 1 to 3 percent are the real genes. And our second keyword is allele. So what is allele? So allele is one out of two or more forms of a gene differentiated due to mutation and are found in the same location on a chromosome. So when there are a homologous chromosome, so suppose these are homologous chromosome and in the same location there are genes or there are alleles. So if they differ by some sequence or if there is mutation they will differ by some sequence and they will still function the same however they, they will be different by the sequence they have and they are called alleles and dominance dominance is a trait so when we cross two different parents and one of the character is going to be marked by the other character so dominance is a trait in, a, in an inheritance pattern where one allele marks the effect of the other allele. The allele that marks the effect is called dominant allele. And coming to the recessive allele, if the allele is marked by another allele, which is a dominant allele, then that allele is called recessive allele. It will not show its phenotype. However, its phenotype will be marked by the dominant allele we have. So this is going to be shown in a phenotype and this recessive allele will be maxed. And fifth keyword is homozygous. So homozygous means it has same two copies of a genome. So when there is a homologous pair of chromosome, both the chromosome are same. That means coming from the maternal genome and the paternal genome, both are same. And heterozygous means maternal genome is different from the paternal genome. That means two homologous chromosomes, they are different. And the seventh keyword is chromosome. So chromosome is a thread-like structure of DNA or nucleic acid and protein that are found in the nucleus. So it contains all the genomic sequence. And the eighth keyword is mitosis. Mitosis is a cell division. It is somatic cell division. So 
mitosis is going to be the somatic cell division and it will be identical with the parent cell however in the meiosis this is also called the reductional division and it is a cell division that mainly occurs in the gamete or gametic phase and there will be the reduced number of chromosomes and segregation tenth keyword is segregation segregation is the process of separation of two different alleles during the formation of the gamete and haploid haploid is a single set of chromosome in an organism that comes from its parent tubel's keyword is diploid diploid is the two complete set of chromosome in an organism one coming from the male parent and other coming from the female parent 13th keyword is monoploid monoploid is a single complete set of chromosomes of an organism and polyploid polyploid means presence of two or more complete set of chromosome that means the set of the chromosome has been doubled or there is more than one copy chimerism so we need to understand this 15th keyword that is chimerism chimerism means there is an organism and it has different chromosomes or different genome in different cells that means the whole organism is not same the one part of the organism has one set of chromosomes and other part of the organism has other set of chromosomes this is called chimer chimerism and homologous homologous is in the level of gene so two genes in different species are said to be homologous when they share a common ancestor and they have conserved nucleotide or protein sequence and their function is going to be same and paralogous paralogous means two different homologous genes are said to be paralogous if they were separated by gene duplication event and similarly we have 18th keyword orthologous two homologous genes are said to be orthologous if they were diverged after a specific speciation event but their functions are same heredity heredity is the inheritance of traits from parent to their offspring 20th keyword is inheritance inheritance is the transmission of information from parent to the offspring and trait trait is a special character it is a specific character and it is governed by gene and apart from gene is it is governed by gene environment and the interaction of gene and the environment phenotype so when we look at a uh, genetic content so the phenotype it shows a phenotype is gene shows its own phenotype phenotype means how we observe it from outside so that is called phenotype and genotype genotype is a sum to sum total of the genetic information present in the cell that is called its genome or the sum total of the chromosome it has and 23 23rd keyword is genotype and 24th keyword is gene expression gene expression means like we have a gene and it will express into a transcript and from a transcript it will make a protein and finally it will show a phenotype so gene expression when it has a gene and when it shows a phenotype so that is a gene expression and 25th keyword is gamete gamete is the reproductive cell during the process of gamete formation two different alleles are separated and this happens during the meiosis cell division so therefore in genetics meiosis cell division is very important and this is also called reductional cell division these are the top 25 keywords so apart from these top 25 keywords i have added 15 more keywords that are on the bottom of the table so these are 15 different keywords that i have added and these are also going to be very important in learning genetics thank you so much for watching this video if you like my content please subscribe to my channel and if you want to learn more about genetics genomics gene editing and genetic engineering please like my content share my content and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in third lecture of genetics